Hi, welcome to this demo of embedding Visual Builder applications inside Oracle Cloud application pages. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to take an existing Visual Builder application and embed it as part of an Oracle SaaS page. We're going to cover how to prepare the visual application to be ready for embedding in other locations. We're going to show you how to create a sandbox in Oracle SAS and how to use the page composer, which is part of the sandbox, to modify existing pages in Oracle SAS and allow you to add sections to them. Then we're going to show you how to embed the Visual Builder application and how to pass parameters into the application from Oracle SAS. So we built a little Visual Builder application. This application is invoked for a URL with a parameter called employee name and the name. The name then appears in the employee name field over here. The employee can choose which vaccine they got. They can indicate the date of when they got the vaccine. Click save and the data is saved in the database and we can see the update for the specific employee over here. So this is how the application works. This has been developed in Visual Builder as a standalone application accessing two business objects that we maintain over here. Now we want to get this application and embed it into Oracle SaaS. So a few things that you might want to do. One thing is you might want to get rid of surrounding uh, elements in your page. And for example, over here, we have this whole section uh, that basically has the title and we can just remove it. The two top and bottom bars are actually coming over from our shell page. So we're going to go to our shell page and we can over here eliminate the top bar and the bottom bar like that. This leaves us uh, with a cleaner slate for our application. Now, if we're happy with our application, before we can embed this into Oracle SAS, we need to go to our application, web application settings, and under the security section, we want to allow embedding the application either in a specific domain or in any domain. Now that we've done that, we can go over and stage our application. And then publish the application. Now that the application has been published, we can go back to the Visual Builder homepage, click the live link over here to invoke the application in its live URL. Over here, you can see in the URL, we have the live uh, URL, and we're gonna copy the URL to this application and use it to embed this application from this URL inside Oracle SAS. So now inside Oracle SAS, we're going to invoke a sandbox. So we'll create a sandbox in order to do modifications to our environment. We'll give it a name and we're going to include the page composer as the tool that we're going to use in this sandbox. Let's create the sandbox and enter it. Once you're inside the sandbox, you'll see this yellow banner at the top. And now you can go and start work with your application. So in our application, we're going to go into the personal information part of HCM, where we can see information about an employee. And we're going to go into the additional person info. And this is the page that we want to configure and inject the Visual Builder application into. To do that, we'll invoke the page composer. The page composer would then bring up the option to see the structure of the page. Let's expand this a little bit. And then we can select an area on the page that we want to edit. So let's edit this area. In the structure pane, we would now see the area that we selected and we can select a sub section over there where we can add additional components. So click on that area and then you can see the plus sign up at the top. And if you click on it, you'll be able to add things to the page. We're going to open the component section and we're going to add a web page. So this actually adds a section into our page, an iframe into which we can embed other pages. You can then refine the definitions of this area. For example, if you go over to edit the properties of this container, we can set, for example, the height 
of the content. So this would give us a little bit more space for our visual builder application to show up here like that. Then we're going to edit the properties of the actual web page we're embedding. So again, go and click the properties, give it a name, and then they, you can specify specific source for your application. Now we want to pass a parameter to our application. So we're going to use the expression builder available over here to access a parameter. We're going to use the system parameter called user. Okay. And you can test to see what is returned from this. And this is the name of the currently logged in user. And what we're going to do here is before this user, we're going to paste the URL for our application, add the reference to our parameter and have it equal to the returned value from the username. Again, using test, you can see the full URL that we'll be invoking. Now that we set this URL to our live application with the parameter, we can click OK. And our Visual Builder application would load up inside the Oracle HCM page. All right, we can close our editing session, go back into the normal way of viewing the application. And as you can see, the Visual Builder application is embedded into the user interface. We can select a specific vaccine we got, for example, select the date and click Save, and the data would be updated in the database. And this is updated in Visual Builder. Every time now that the customer would go into this page, and once we publish the sandbox, they would see the application showing up here, and they can continue to update information. For example, update if they got another booster to the vaccine. And that's how you embed Visual Builder application inside Oracle Cloud applications.